Most of the petroleum above ground storage tank's usual support configuration is by soil compaction, ring wall, concrete slab or pile cap supported foundation. Shell settlement evaluation is therefore an integral and important component of any in-service external inspection. According to API 653, settlement of a tank is the result of either one or a combination of the following three settlement components. Uniform settlement of a tank does not induce stresses in the tank structure. However, piping, tank nozzles, and attachments must be given adequate consideration to prevent problems caused by such settlement. Planar tilt. This type of settlement results in increased hoop stress in the tank shell and may cause binding of peripheral seals in a floating roof and inhibit roof travel. Due to the fact that a tank is a rather flexible structure, the tank may settle in a non-planar configuration. This settlement can lead to out-of-roundness at the top of the shell and may also affect the internal roof support structures, such as columns, rafters, and girders. A rotating self-leveling laser is used to determine elevation. A total of 16 measurement points, equally spaced around the tank shell, is taken to obtain a statistically valid cosine curve. The actual settlement is plotted using points around the tank circumference as the abscissa. These data, along with API 653 reference formulas, are used to calculate the plane of rigid tilt settlement and the out-of-plane deflection. Upon resuming the field inspections, a detailed in-service inspection report will be sent to the owner. Clearly explains the findings and recommendations for further care and maintenance in accordance with API 653 standards.